Hand surgeons are specialists who diagnose and treat carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a compressive neuropathy, which means a compression of the nerve as it runs across the wrist. And the nerve is in yellow, as you can see it. And compression develops in this enclosed space as it runs across the wrist here. The space is made up of a series of bones on the outside, which is your wrist joint. And then there's this sort of tough ligament, like a piece of leather, that runs across the wrist here. And so the usual cause for carpal tunnel syndrome is uh, fluid around the tendons puts pressure on the nerve that then pinches it off or compresses it. Uh, other causes that can occur is arthritis within the wrist that sort of narrows down the space, but for 98% or more people, we just don't know what causes it. The treatments that we have is splinting is one because the reason we splint is that as the wrist gets bent, it tends to increase the pressure on here. The second option would be steroid injections across the wrist and we inject it right into that region. And those are good, but they're temporary. And then the final option is surgically to release it. Hand surgeons have developed several techniques to perform the surgery. In all cases, the surgery serves to cut the carpal ligament to take pressure off of the median nerve at the wrist. The procedure has evolved away from making large incisions across the entire wrist and is now performed using much smaller incisions. This can be done either endoscopically or through a limited, minimally invasive open technique. Either way has been shown to have comparable good long-term results with similarly low complication rates. We do cut the ligament as it runs across here, but we just make a small incision across the wrist. So after the surgery, he will be in recovery room for about a half hour to an hour until he feels better, and then he goes home. Um, and he starts moving his hand right away, so it's free. It's uncovered as of four or five days from now before he's doing normal activities, and it can be three or four months before he's fully healed up. Most patients, though, within a month are back to their normal activities. The nerve may take months to over a year to recover, and in some cases, the nerve may not recover 100%. In severe cases, the patient may lose muscle in the hand, causing weakness, especially of the thumb. Any muscle mass that is lost cannot come back, even with treatment. If it's left untreated, there is a consequence, which is unfortunate. If you let it go too long, you can reach a state where it's numb all the time and there isn't any pain. And if you reach that end-stage condition, generally surgery doesn't help. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome or any other cause of hand pain, then consult a hand surgeon. Visit the American Society for Surgery of the Hand online at www.handcare.org to learn more and find a qualified hand surgeon in your area.